Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch and today we're looking at the 17 year old Japanese international or I should say future international Takahiro Nakai currently at Real Madrid in their B team or under 19s I should say and he's a future prospect certainly but make sure you like and subscribe to the channel before we get into things as I always ask because you know why wouldn't you want to do that and Join in with all the Wonder Kid watches we're going to have. Um, valued at £3.2 million pounds to £9.6 million. He's got quite a high valuation for a 17-year-old. £2,000 of wages. Uh, determination and flair are looking fantastic. Um, some nice pace as well. His dribbling first touch technique on the ball, he is absolutely brilliant. Some 14 passing and vision of 13 as well. He's that kind of playmaker in there, getting that ball down and knocking it about. So quite the player to be looking at. Let's take a look at his official potential in the game. It's 159, currently starting at 96. So we'll be able to take a look and see if he reaches that total. Um, but he looks pretty good in certain aspects. Other aspects he's got a lot to work on. Uh, definitely not a defensive player, that's for sure, in the centre of midfield. Um, but one that if you get him on the ball can make things happen. But let's jump ahead 10 years and take a look at how he progresses. And we are back. He's moved to Italy as well. So let's take a look at his kind of stats there. You can see that he has developed more of as, as an attacking midfielder as well now. Um, there's still lots of holes in his game, but his, his technical ability is still fantastic on the ball. His dribbling, his passing, his technique, his first touch. Some some improvement in long shots as well. Obviously, he's still got that determination and flair in the middle of the park. That's maybe why he's pushed a bit further forward, so he doesn't risk losing the ball quite as much. But he plays one twos, tries killer passes um, and balls, tries tricks as well, which are things that he's already had. But um, looks for pass rather than attempting to score, which is probably quite good for his finishing and long shots. Uh, and then likes ball play to feet, as you'd expect uh, with those technical abilities on the ball. He's valued at 1.7 to 5.2 million uh, with a wage of 20,000 and his contract's expiring. Looks like he is planning on joining Torino permanently, having been on loan from Udinese. So let's take a look at this. We can see that he only made one appearance for the Real Madrid B team before a 2.7,000 pound move to Juventus. Now, it doesn't look like he performed overly well with them as he played a lot for the under 23s. Didn't really appear for the... The first team much um he did in 26 27 looks like he got two goals in in the three games he played but again not much happened there for him that led to a loan move to Udinese and then a permanent one for 2.4 million gotten promoted uh which is interesting to see Udinese in Serie B but again not much going on with his assists or goals leading to again another loan move for him to Torino where things have been again nothing drastic he's not massively shot up in performance levels competition wise I mean you can't really say he's won Serie A three times technically I guess he has um, has won promotion from Serie B with Udinese via the playoffs but that's probably about it and see he's been in a couple of kind of seasonal 11s and team of the weeks for Udinese and Torino but again nothing too much stand out so it's, I guess it's maybe the weaknesses in his game which are kind of letting him drop drop too low. He's got decent work rate. I mean, it's nothing great, but and his teamwork's not fantastic. But, I mean, it's when he's got the ball at his feet, I'm sure he can do so much. you just got to make sure you get the most out of him when he does play. Um, let's take a look at the uh, p potential ability and if he's met that. Um, not quite. 116 over current ability, 159 potential. So he's a little way off. The, the potential he ha did have. And I don't see him reaching that now at 27 years old. Be interesting if there was anything that held him back with his injuries rise. Looks like there were a few injuries, especially early on. Um, that's for sure. That's maybe hampered him, which then led to a few more going later on in the season. But there you go. Takahiro Nakai, uh, a former Real Madrid man now at Torino. There you go. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And of course, leave any comments below of any players you want to see up next in Wonder Kid Watch. Thanks for watching.